Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is an example for chapter 3. So for the chapter 3, it is for gas power cycle and also uh, can be known as uh, external uh, combustion engine. Okay, so uh, you can refer to uh, our previous uh, lecture for the uh, notes about gas power cycle. Okay, so for this lecture, I will show you how to solve uh, the uh, problem uh, related to gas power cycle. Okay, so as you can see here, air is used as the working fluid in a simple ideal Brayton cycle. Okay, so Brayton cycle is a uh, ideal cycle for uh, gas power cycle that has a pressure ratio of 12 and then a compressor inlet temperature of 300 Kelvin and a turbine inlet temperature of 1000 Kelvin. Determine the required mass flow rate of air. Okay, mass flow rate of air. So what is mass flow rate of air for a net power output of 70 megawatts. Assuming both the compressor and the turbine have an isentropic efficiency of A 100% and B 85%. Okay, so uh, you may refer to our previous lecture, recorded lecture. Uh, what is isentropic efficiency? Okay, so uh, basically for the Brayton cycle, we are dealing with the actual cycle where we consider the pressure drop, for example, in the compressor. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, pressure drop in the heat addition process and pressure drop in heat rejection process so that the work output for the compressor and the uh, turbine is not always 100% okay so for this example you can understand what is effect what is the effect of uh, having such uh, isentropic efficiency for the mass flow rate and then for another uh, uh, variable okay so now uh, uh, as usual list down all the parameter so the given parameter the given uh, data is one uh, pressure ratio okay so for chapter 3 we are working with pressure ratio instead of uh, compression ratio, uh, compression ratio so pressure ratio is rp so rp equal to uh, 12 so rp basically equal to uh, p2 over p p1 okay and then also equal to p3 over p uh, p4 okay so there is the compression uh, sorry there is the pressure pressure ratio okay and then a compressor inlet temperature okay compressor inlet temperature if you confuse how to find where is the compressor and then where is the where is the uh, uh, turbine, you may start with uh, TS TS diagram. Okay, so uh, for the TS diagram, so let's draw the TS diagram here. Okay, so one to two is isentropic compression. So one, this is point one, and then this is point two as an as entropic compression, and then uh, heat addition at constant pressure, point two to point three, and then uh, as entropic expansion between point three to point four, and then four to one is uh, is heat. heat rejection at constant constant pressure okay so 1 2 3 3 4 okay so 1 2 is for the compressor it is work in for the compressor and then the work out is calculated based on uh, turbine output okay so and then 
area on the graph is this still w w net which is area under under curve okay so it is also equal to q in and then this is q q out okay so based on this ts diagram okay so based on this ts diagram based on this ts diagram we know that uh, a compressor inlet temperature of 300 kelvin is basically at the t1 okay so t1 is 300 kelvin and then uh, a turbine inlet temperature so 3 4 is turbine then inlet temperature must be at 3 so uh, t3 is 1000 kelvin okay and then the required determine the required mass flow rate of air for a net power output of 70 mega megawatt okay so notice that here the unit is mega megawatt okay watt is joule per second okay so watt uh, now w dot net equal to 70 mega 70 megawatts Okay, so megawatt equal to joule per second. So W net mean that it is related to uh, variation of time. Okay, so find m m dot. Okay, which is uh, mass flow mass flow rate. Okay, so m dot basically equal to kilogram over second so everything um, related to so everything uh, related to dot so it must be divided by time okay so mass flow rate mean that mass per unit time okay so kilogram per per second okay so now, uh, uh, isentropic efficiency of A is 100%. Okay, so A, uh, isentropic efficiency for compressor, N, C, N, N for turbine is 100%. And then B, isentropic compressor for, efficiency, uh, isentropic efficiency for the compressor, and for turbine is at 85 85% okay so now uh, mean that if this 100% isentropic compress uh, for the compressor and turbine is 100% it is referred to 1 to 2 and 3 to, to 4 okay which is the S3 equal to S4 S1 equal to S S2 the straight the straight line okay if the isentropic uh, efficiency for the compressor and the turbine is not 100% okay it's not a, at ideal situation where it is always the case which is lower than 100% uh, we must draw another point in this ts diagram to represent this actual uh, point of the outlet temperature for the compressor and that uh, turbine respectively okay so now we have another which is we define it as a 2 a okay and then for the turbine we need to define in as 4 4 a okay so now we can Okay, so we can uh, identify this as 4S as entropic because S3 equal to S4. Sorry, technical problem. Okay, so uh, sorry for the technical problem. This is 4A, 
for the actual and then uh, 4s for the isentropic efficiency okay so this is 2 uh, 2s and also 2 uh, 2a okay so in this chapter we are dealing with uh, constant pressure heat addition and constant pressure heat reduction and then all we need to find in this chapter is on the temperature okay so now as you can see here t1 and t maximum t temp uh, t3 is already given so we need to find t2s t2a and t4s and also t4 t4a okay so we we start with uh, de uh, by determine uh, the temperature for the 2s 2a and 4s and for also for 4a okay so um, Okay, so solution so uh, we need to find all the temperature as I mentioned before so we start with uh, process 1 to 2 which is known as isentropic Asentropic compression. Okay, so for the asentropic compression, we know that for the asentropic process, asentropic means that the straight line T1 and equal to, uh, uh, S1 equal to S2S. Okay, S1 equal to S to S. Okay, so process one to two, we can identify. Sorry, there are technical problem. Something wrong with my pen. Okay, so process one to two, we can determine uh, T two S over T one equal to P two over P one K minus one over k so this is isentropic equation for uh, process uh, for the compressor one two uh, process one two process two okay so now we can determine t2s equal to t1 p2 over p1 basically pressure ratio okay so k minus one over over k Okay, so T1 is given 300 Kelvin, RP is 12, K 1.4, okay, so 1.4, K equal to 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.4, and then by 1.4. So, uh, you will get 6, 1, 0 0.18 Kelvin for T to S okay and then we determine uh, T for S okay so there is for T to S and then uh, next we find uh, determine T for for S okay T for S basically uh, it is process 3 to 4 okay so process uh, 3 to 4 which is isentropic uh, expansion okay in turbine okay so process 3 to 4 3 to 4 is isentropic uh, compression okay so for this process, for the isentropic compression, uh, sorry, expansion, we can determine 4s 
by using isentropic equation okay so t3 over t4s equal to p3 over p4 k minus 1 over over k okay so p3 over p4 equal to pressure pressure ratio so we determine we can determine t4s basically equal to t3 over rp k minus 1 over over k okay so t3 is 1000 kelvin rp is 12 okay so you will get t4s equal to 491.66 Kelvin okay so there is 4s point at uh, temperature at 4s which is s3 equal to s4 4s okay as I mentioned before since we have asentropic compression and asentropic efficiency for the turbine is not 100% for case number case B which is 85% we need to get this T to A and then this T for 4 A okay so how to determine T to S and T for T for A okay so to determine T for S and T for A I use red color it is isentropic uh, process 1 2 is for the compressor okay so isentropic efficiency for the compressor it is equal to work compressor for the isentropic wc s divided by wc actual okay as a uh, work for the compressor at in the actual uh, for the actual case which is in this red for the, uh, the for this deviation okay for 2a and also for uh, for a for the termine okay so wc basically it is work in work produced for, uh, uh, by the compressor which is equal to cp uh, t2s minus T1 and then for the actual the red one it is CP T2A minus T T1 okay so you can cancel out that CP so you will get T2A based on this equation okay so rearrange this equation you will get T2A equal to T2S minus T1 divided by asentropic for compressor plus T T1 okay so T to S 610.18 T1 is 300 asentropic if you say for the curve uh, for the uh, compressor is 85 percent 0 0.85 plus T1 is 3 300 okay so you will get T to A basically equal to 664.92 Kelvin okay so that is for the actual uh, for the actual um, for the actual temperature uh, temperature uh, at the exit of the uh, compressor which is T2 T2A okay so for the hand for hundred percent T2A equal to T2 to S 100% okay, mean that uh, no such pressure drop uh, considered in that uh, particular uh, in this particular cycle okay so there is for compressor same goes for the turbine okay so asentropic efficiency for the turbine it is equal to w t a for the turbine and then w t s for the uh, isentropic this is for the actual and then this is for the isentropic okay so 
you can notice that for the compressor W uh, the isentropic is uh, uh, isentropic divided by the actual work okay because the actual work produce basically higher than the isentropic uh, uh, isentropic uh, uh, situation okay and then uh, back to the uh, turbine the actual output okay from the turbine is less than the uh, output for the ideal uh, turbine okay so that's why this is wta and then this is wt divided by wts and then work net for the out for the turbine for the actual cycle is uh, cp t3 minus t4a and then wt for the isentropic okay 3 and 4s equal to cp t3 minus t4 t4s okay so cp can be cancelled out so you will get t4a basically equal to T three minus T three minus T four T four S. Okay, so T three is given one thousand Kelvin. Isentropic zero point eight five. Zero point eight five. T three is one thousand. Minus T4S 491. Okay, so you will get T4A basically equal to 567.91 Kelvin. Okay, so now we already obtain all the temperature for the cycle. Okay, T1. T2S, uh, T2A, T3, T4S, and T4, T4A. Okay. So now, how to uh, calculate the mass flow rate? Okay, because our problem is related to how much uh, mass flow rate for this cycle, ataupun m, m dot. Okay. So now for the case A and then for the case for the case B ok so for the A for A asentropic compressor and asentropic for the turbine is 100 100% ok so for 100% Uh, for the hundred percent, how to find that W? Uh, how to find that M M dot? Okay. So uh, since the word net output is given, okay, W net is given. It is basically equal to M dot W net output, which is W output which is W turbine S and then W in W compressor S ok so this is for A A S eh, for the asentropic because it is 100 100% ok so we can determine M dot equal to Word net divided by WTS and WC WCS. Okay, so this is seventy megawatt. WTS equal to CP turbine equal to T three minus T four S and then for the compressor CP T 2S minus T T1 okay so 
we will get 1.005 for the CP constant at specific heat uh, at room temperature CP is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin T3 is 1000 T4S 491 T2S 610.18 plus T1 is 300 okay so calculate this you will get M dot equal to 352 kilogram per second okay so this is for case A and then for case B for case B just repeat the same procedure but now as entropic compress as entropic efficiency for the compressor and turbine is 85 85% okay so for this case w dot net equal to m dot w t a w a okay so wta equal it is back equal to work net ataupun work out minus work work in okay work net work out minus work work in and then m dot equal to w net over wta minus wc WCA. Okay, so you can try to calculate that M dot based on compare uh, based based on isentropic efficiency of 85 percent, and then this is the answer 1037 kilogram per per second. Okay, so basically by understand this uh, example, you are basically uh, understand how to solve or how to analyze the gas uh, power cycle okay so I repeat for the gas power cycle uh, the basic fundamental that you can use is based on uh, chapter 2 okay so you need to use PV diagram and TS diagram okay and then instead of uh, constant volume now you are dead you are dealing with constant pressure heat addition and constant pressure heat rejection okay and then instead of using compression ratio v2 over v1 for chapter 1 sorry chapter 2 now for the, the this chapter you are dealing with compression uh, sorry you are dealing with pressure ratio okay p2 over p p1 which is r rp okay so um, for this chapter also you need to determine uh, you also need to determine uh, backward ratio okay so backward ratio is basically ratio of uh, compressor work okay ratio of compressor work w uh, c w c over uh, work for the uh, turbine which is w out turbine w t for the for the turbine okay so mean that based on backward ratio b w r b w uh, we can uh, get the ratio of how much um, power will be used to uh, drive back the compressor from the from the uh, output of, uh, output of the turbine okay so uh, basically i think that's all for the this example and then uh, in next lecture uh, uh, i will continue with uh, example uh, no, with a lecture for the gas power cycle with regenerative Okay, so until then, thank you.